I am Dr. Kim Waters, and I'm the Director of Choral and Theater Activities here at Gordon Central. Chorale is actually one single class we have here at the high school. It is the Advanced Mixed Choir. And the word chorale is German for um, small ensemble of music or small group of singers. And it's used typically throughout the music world as a term that we uh, use for choirs that of, of their highest ability level. I've been in chorus since the fourth grade, and as soon as I could enter chorale, I did. I first started singing because my sister did it, and she said it was really fun, so I wanted to try it, and when I did, I, I really enjoyed it. Chorale has helped me become more confident in myself, and it's also helped me learn about new people and new art styles. Like with the Roland Hayes concert we do, I've learned a ton about this man that I've never heard anything about up until now. We usually try to travel with the chorale every couple of years. Uh, we've kind of gotten into a rotation of every two years. We go to Europe. We've been six times to Europe. We've been twice to uh, Ireland and England. We've been twice to Italy and we've been twice to Paris and include this past summer Germany and Austria. Miss Waters will usually take chorale to Europe and to New York and I've been with her on her New York trip and what we did was we went and watched all these different plays and it was an awesome experience for all of us. In the Gordon Center Performing Arts program, we also have theater, and uh, we do a one-act competition play, which is sponsored by Georgia High School Association every year. It always runs at the end of October, somewhere right in there. It's an audition-only group uh, that uh, competes against the other high schools that we compete against in GHSA. For this year's one act, we're doing Young Frankenstein, a Mel Brooks musical, which is about Dr. Frankenstein and how he goes about making his monsters and starting his experiments. I'm a member of the ensemble, which includes playing a part of the ancestors, and I also play a part of the villager, who are very skeptical about his experiments and very afraid of his monsters. I have been in the performing arts for five years. I started in sixth grade. Being in the musicals has affected me in ways such as a uh, boost to my confidence level, and drew me to new people, the way I got into performing arts was through my mother because she's always been really into singing and playing the piano and so she started out introducing me at a very young age. And also, I don't know, whenever I was little I was always told I was really dramatic, which may have been just because I was little, but I took it to heart in a good way and so I decided that acting was a really good outlet for being really wild and crazy. I would say memorable performances for one act, um, probably the ones that rank right up there at the top would be Beauty and the Beast, the year we did Beauty and the Beast, um, the year we won region with uh, Aida, that was fantastic, getting to go to state the first time, and then the year we won uh, region and went to state and placed fourth in state with a uh, funny thing happened on the way to the forum. I just wanted to try something new. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And in sixth grade, we were doing Willy Wonka. And I liked the movie, so I'm going to go try that. And then I've liked it ever since, so I stuck with it. I would highly recommend being involved in the performing arts in high school. Whether you're planning on being in the performing arts as a job or just as a as fun thing that you do in your life, um, being involved in high school performing arts give you opportunities to um, hone your skills to stand up in front of people and present your ideas and opinions, and it just teaches you how to express yourself. And that's one thing we as humans. Um, especially in this technology-laced world today, we tend to lose that ability, is to really be able to communicate with others. Mm -hmm.